uh, we don't see very many changes in the last couple of surveys, um, the three this year, but as we pointed out in the past, the almost complete collapse of Jubilee from about 40% two years ago to only 3% now, um, we do see um, a slight decline um, in those who are undecided also. Um, and um, a little bit of a decline in UDA from the last survey, from 37 to 29%, 6%. Keeping in mind the margin of error for this survey is about 2.5%, um, plus or minus. And even a slight decline in support for, um, sorry, and a slight increase in uh, ODM support from 18% up to 25, 7%. That's significant, which should give you a hint about how have things have changed with regard to the presidential race itself. Uh, as far as the coalitions are concerned, and you can see the question at the bottom, which political grouping or formations, coalition, whatever are you, that you're, uh, uh, are you, do you feel closest to support? Azimil has the plurality, and remember plurality means the largest number in a group of numbers, but less than 50% plus one or more um, at 38%, whereas just over a quarter, 28% identified with uh, Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Had nearly a third who said they hadn't decided or don't identify with any, and Oka on its own received support of just 3%. Now, when we looked at these results um, in terms of political parties, we saw, not surprisingly, that almost all of our respondents who said that they feel close to uh, ODM, which as you saw in the previous uh, slide was 29%, almost all of that 29%, 96% of them said they also support Azimil. And among the 25% of Kenyans who identified with, um, sorry, 29% who identified with UDA, 85% of them also identify with Kenya Kwanzaa. Why the gap of 11%? Why are people who support UDA less likely to support the larger coalition of which it is a part than are those who identify with ODM and support Azimio? Is it because more followers of UDA don't really see the need of that coalition? Because until recently, the deputy president had said, we don't need to have uh, small uh, community-based political parties and so on. Are more of UDA supporters going to vote for what we call straight tickets or six piece? So they don't need to be interested in coalitions or other parties. Um, it's not a huge difference, but I think that gap of 11% is interesting for our friends in political science who are studying party politics and coalition uh, politics.